Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've just posted regarding the StatCounter server results for the desktop browser market share for September. And now it's time to have a look at the server results for the Windows version market share and do a quick comparison of those percentages between August and September of this year. And some interesting stuff going on for last month. Now, starting at the back, Windows 8.1 has decreased from 0.23 to 0.18%. And I think that's going to be very soon out the back door, so to speak. Windows XP, although it has dropped from 0.38 to 0.3%, I think is soon going to be catching Windows 8. That's going to be very interesting. And while we are talking about Windows 8, that has decreased from 1.13 to 0.44%. So there's an interesting one to watch in the future. Windows 7 has increased almost 5%. From 3.54% to 9.15%. And I'll get back to Windows 7 now. And very closely related to Windows 7 is Windows 10 which has decreased by almost 5%. You see where I'm going with this. From 45.65% to 40.84%. And I think a good reason why Windows 10 has decreased by 5% and Windows 7 has increased by almost 5% is because a lot of Windows 10 users are not wanting to move on to Windows 11 and are actually moving back to Windows 7. So very interesting. And Windows 11 has almost not moved. It's basically stagnant, where in August it was 49.02% and is now on 49.05%. And it's going to be interesting to see if 25H2's annual update, which started rolling out yesterday, is going to affect the market share, maybe increase it a little bit. But nonetheless, Windows 11 really isn't moving. Windows 10 has decreased. Windows 7 has increased. So... So Windows 7 is going to be an interesting one to watch, especially after the end of support in a couple of days of Windows 10. Moving to the chart, here we can see Windows 11 in the blue started climbing nicely and then from July has been decreasing almost exactly the same as mentioned between August and September. And Windows 10 decreased, increased, and now quite a nosedive by that 5% as mentioned, which as we can see has been picked up by Windows 7, which has increased quite drastically over the last month. So interesting stuff. And I know there are still a lot of users who are still loyal to Windows 7. And I think now, especially with the end of support, fast approaching for Windows 10. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.